The other night, I was reading in my son's picture Bible, and I was struck by the picture of the Garden of Eden. There it was, Adam and Eve, two trees, and a berry bush. And I thought, this picture does not even begin to capture what Adam and Eve experienced in the garden. Think about it. There they were, surrounded by lush trees, plants, bushes, and vines in this beautiful landscape that exceeds our imagination. We don't know how many trees were in the garden, but we do know one thing. There was one tree from which they could not eat. And the enemy, the serpent, he came to tempt. Now, consider how he did it. He drew their hearts and attention away from the blessing and on that one tree. That one tree. In a sense, he put a magnifying glass over that seeming deficit, which made them feel discontent. But isn't this what we see him doing today? The enemy, he blinds us to God's goodness in hopes that we will, like Adam and Eve, defy the Word of God in order to obtain the thing we want or feel we deserve. So what is our response? Listen to these words from Thessalonians. Rejoice always. Pray continually. Give thanks in all circumstances, for this is God's will for you in Christ Jesus. Does your mind fixate on frustration? Is your disobedience sourced in discontent? What if, what if you replace those thoughts of discouragement with thankfulness and praying and rejoicing? Today, refuse to fall prey to Satan's deception and thank God for the garden of good things surrounding you. Thank you.